Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 44 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play. Where today I'm trying to figure out why this thing ain't working. Because in theory, this should be planting. It's grass. It's a sapling. It should be planting that. There should be no issues here. In my test world, I did have these facing the front, but that should not be an issue here. So I'm not 100% understanding what the major malfunction is with this guy. And it does have to have a two block gap, correct? Is there information on the deployer? Uh, hello? Zombie, thank you. That was rude. Anyway, I was in the middle of talking. Uh, ponder, let's see. All right, using the deployer. Can imitate player actions. I wanna see like deployer, like do you have a, like it being vertical? No. Yeah, see, look, it's planting. It's in the finger pointy mode, which is exactly what we want. It's here, block gap, where the action has to happen. So it's here, block gap, where the action has to happen. Maybe? Let's, uh... It's highly possible I did this wrong. I cannot... I should have popped into my, um... Hello? Super glue? Okay. Glue's not working. Something funky going on. Because the glue was not wanting to work. Are you going to work now? That was weird. I don't know what was up with that. So I put the deployer here. And I rotate him to face down. See, I don't remember having to do this. To get the saplings to go in. But I could be wrong. Let's just do that and see... Uh, if it works. Incorrect. Incorrect. And I pressed the wrong button. Do not need rotten flesh in my inventory. What I do need is some dirt. I did not mean to make that big of a mess, but whatever. Should have done this not next to my base. That would have been a smart idea, because now I have this giant... What looks to be a creeper hole, but is not. It is instead a the Andrada hole. And I keep hitting the wrong button because of this mouse. All right. Will you plant now? I do not think you will. I don't believe you will. Especially if I don't put the saplings in your hand. So you definitely won't. Take a nap. All right, try again. Saplings into Bubba's hand here. I put it in the filter, but not the hand. Okay. Where's the on operator? Uh, figures it's underneath here. Oh my goodness, it's on that side. Need to set up a better system. See, does he not? He doesn't have it in his hand anymore, does he? And now he has it. I am extremely confused as to why this is not wanting to work. Because for all intents and purposes, it should be. Do these need to be linear chassis? That was the one thing I wasn't sure, but they're moving. So you wouldn't think it would have to be a linear chassis because Bubba's moving up and down. He's doing stuff. So why not be grow sapling? And I'm pretty sure this is not correct. Everything is glued together. I did it again by covering up my hole to access this.
<laughs> now isn't this this is also supposed to show an overlay isn't it of its range do you think these need no I don't think linear chassis need glued to each other um, <laughs> what to do, what to do about this conundrum? Because this should be working. Take these, buddy. See, you hear that, don't you? Do you guys hear that? I hear the planting sound, but nothing is happening. Or am I just crazy? Uh, give me a minute here. Let me look into what the heck is going on. Okay, a um, little bit of rearranging later. Put linear chassis down just to see if that was the case. But it's, from what I understand, they were moving. It shouldn't be, as you can see, not working. However, found a GitHub issue that was closed in September of 2020. And I think may be our answer. We're gonna find out here together because I did not try this ahead of time. Should have tried it before I started recording. But whatever. From what I understand, you need to go to your chunk claiming because this chunk is low or claimed for us. And that's stopping the deployer from being able to interact with the block. It's, can't do anything to it. So we have to go into here and set the deployer as an ally. Now, theoretically, hey, we got it. That was it the whole time. Man. So if anybody else is playing on Enigmatica 6 and your stuff is not working, you now have the answer as to why. It's because you need to add it as an ally so it can interact with blocks in your team. Who would have thunk it? Anyway, let's continue on. Um, so let's get some bone meal here real quick so y'all can see how this works. Bone meal. And we're gonna, you know, just bone meal these trees up. Bam. And we turn this on, so it's going to go around. Now, normally it would fill this whole area up with saplings, of course, if we had enough saplings. But look, it stops. It's going to chop down, and it's going to chop down the entire tree. Once it breaks out of the log, boom, whole tree's gone. It did it. It immediately replanted because it grabbed more saplings from those leaves, replanted these trees, which I'm going to break. And then the rest of the stuff ended up in the inventory, which it ended up in this inventory. Exactly as we predicted it would. Just should have been done an episode ago, but hey, who would have known that that was gonna be an issue? Not me, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and dump all this junk out of our inventory so I can actually do what we need to do. That can go away. Uh, rotten flesh, though we should have quite a bit of it now. Uh, apples can go away bone meal and let's continue so we're going to do a similar setup to how we have here with our um, portable storage interface so we're going to set that up here as well and I think I'm just going to go ahead and set that guy up right on top of this chest because it is the easiest access to the rest of the system so let's just um, bam incorrect but I think we can rotate it yes there we go okay so now the portable storage interface is set up so now we need to set up access to it so he needs something to connect to which I'm gonna do on the other side because I don't want it to connect just yet so what we're gonna do is set up for now this is temporary we're gonna set up a chest we're gonna set up our shoots and we're gonna need to get two of these BAM I don't need the glue anymore let's go ahead and Take that glue away. Put this in the right spot. It's hard because I have to shift click as I jump. Otherwise, I'm going to open the chest. So we have that, that, and then we have another portable storage interface. And I just realized I'm going to need to make two more of these bad boys because we're going to have to solve the issue of. So here's what's going to happen we're going to plant the trees, right? It's gonna plant the trees, it's gonna go around and it's gonna dump out its entire inventory from here 
into the chest, including the saplings. Now, it does prioritize filling up the deployers with saplings, but at some point, it's highly possible we could run out of saplings in our deployers, especially since we have five of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a system so that it rotates around. It's going to dump all of its inventory out here, and then we're going to have another portable storage interface set up here that is going to provide saplings, it's going to provide a stack of saplings to the system so that it always has the ability to plant saplings because they're always going to be in the chest. We need a storage drawer for this. So let's grab that and we're also going to need this storage downgrade which is good that we had it. And we're going to need a drawer, just a singular one by one drawer just so it can hold saplings. And then we need to take a nap because it is getting to be a little bit dark outside. So let's get the shoot out of here. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, and I, from my test world, I'm pretty sure it's going to work this way. Tree grows here, right? It's touching these wood blocks. When this goes around and it cuts this, it's also going to remove these oak logs. So if we start seeing that we have gaps in our oak logage, we're going to have to replace this with stone. I th Honestly, I think that's going to happen. Uh, I thought I saw it happen in my test world, but I wasn't really paying attention. I just noticed all my oak blocks went away, but I also vein mined a section. So I don't know if I accidentally vein mined it or the saws took it away. We'll find out. Continuing. So it's going to chop everything down. Portable storage interface is going to link up, boop, drop everything off into here, and eventually this is going to be our network transmitter, and it's going to dump it into our refined storage system. Next to it, we're going to have a interface set up, which is going to go here, that's going to always keep a stack of saplings on hand at all times. Then we're going to have a block gap, and we're going to get like, oh, let's get some stone bricks, something at least a little nicer than a piece of dirt. Let's set this here. And we are going to set up a portable storage interface again. Portable storage. So that's you, which is going to require you, which is going to require some more brass. And you, bam. And I put the wrench away, but I did not mean to. Let's go over here. Yep, okay. And then on top of this guy is where we're gonna put our brass funnel that we got. And then we're going to put our storage drawer on top of that. Okay. We need to get our storage drawer key. We're going to lock this. Funny that this funnel has a gap. In this new update, they changed the look of the funnel. It did not look like this before. So we're, we're going to actually see if this, this works as I expect it to. We're going to put a storage downgrade. We're going to grab one sapling and put it in there just so that we can lock the drawer and then we're going to get our logistical transporters and we're going to set those up to go into the drawer so what it's going to do is it's going to extract from the drawer so it'll extract into there but it's only going to keep one stack in stock at a time and then it's going to put it into the portable storage interface and just to be 100 percent safe we're going to set a filter on this of this guy, so that it can only pull saplings in, right? Right, okay. So now, if we put our saplings in here, we're gonna see they get sucked up, go into the drawer. Then what's gonna happen is we turn this guy on. He has no saplings at the moment, right? So he's gonna rotate around. He's gonna boop, connect there, drop that off. Boop, connect there, pick up saplings and not work as I expected it to, which I think is a problem with this funnel. Let's go ahead and turn this off. 
I need this funnel to extract from this drawer. And it did in my test. Do I need to... Do I need to put a... Instead of the funnel, a logistical transporter now? Or is it because the funnel is linked to the portable store? What if I do this? Um, that don't seem right now either, does it? Actually, it did. It gave me saplings. But they're just dropping into the world now. Huh. Yeah, that's not working. The way that it was. Uh, it was so that because that was kind of like a hopper, but it was a filterable hopper. What else? I mean, there's a shoot. Is there like a smart shoot now? Actually, I think there is a smart shoot. What what do you do? With addition, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so it got changed to a smart shoot. That's where my issue lies. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to turn on auto walk. Uh, shoot. Smart shoot. Seen another brass plate. Nope. Oh, <laughs> I noped twice. Okay. Hammer. And shoot. Maybe it was no, I because I popped into my create world or my creative world and checked, and it is definitely a funnel that I have set up over there. So it looks like smart shoot is what I need now. Wrong. Correct. Let's disconnect this. Because I want to know to go to the chest. And that looks more like what I was looking to see. Bam. So if I put those back now, if I let this run again, it's going to drop off its imaginary inventory. And then it's going to come over here, pick up the saplings, and there it is, planted. And that's it. That's an automated tree farm. The only thing that we need to do, have happen now is to get the network set up so that we can keep saplings in stock, but we really don't have, and we don't have 64 saplings, so at this point it doesn't really matter. So we can kind of let this system run as is um, until this grows and then we get more saplings. Uh, bone meal, please. So it'll start on its next iteration. It should cut that down. Let's just validate. This is working. Okay. And chopped. The only thing that concerns me is I don't know if this connects before it starts chopping that block. Is that? Nope. Okay. It didn't connect yet. It is just far enough away. And that would be the only block that would really be a concern. So saplings went in here. So we can go ahead and dump them in there. You can see what I mean. It's a, they're, they're out of saplings. There were 11 saplings in there, but it pulled out and now it planted them. Check that out. And now we're going to start getting a ton of trees and a ton of wood. Start growing. Oh my. All right. And normally they wouldn't grow this fast unless we set up something like a uh, blood magic ritual to, what is it, the uh, Sage of Green Groves, I think, or something like that. So it normally wouldn't grow this fast, but... Bam, broken. In theory, this is how this works. Look, and I told you, it did. Look, it broke all of our wood. I said it might, and it did. Not auto walk. Get out of your sawmills. I meant to hit recipe so we can make 
stone bricks. And that's polished andesite. That is not what I want. Stone bricks. Thank you. Though, I'm using, oh, andesite is ore dictionary with stone. That's kind of nice because andesite's f findable in the world. I mean, te technically stone is too, but you need silk touch. Uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. So yeah, if you set this up, don't use wood. Use stone. That way it doesn't break. But yeah, so this is an automated tree farm. So this is just going to run indefinitely. And the beautiful thing about it, it's all off of one campfire. Doesn't require any power. Doesn't require anything fancy. You know, I, I mean, I guess it requires a little bit of mechanism. Uh, it's kind of a combination of different mods, I guess you could say, because it has... Uh, can we combine this, by the way? Not that. Um... A morphing tool it's a combination of mods we got create we have mechanism we have storage drawers yes oh sweet curious yes yes slimming down our inventory i tried it with the backwards linking tool already though and it didn't work if you remember so that one's not gonna help me but yeah, automated tree farm. So it'll basically just continue like this forever. As a tree glow grows, it's gonna break it down. It's gonna plant the saplings. Um, and yeah, and it'll just keep saplings in here. Now I could, I was gonna say, I could set up something that can transfer saplings out of this chest to filter it for now, since we don't have the network receiver or anything set up, but the network receiver is not too bad to make. I think we have time to go ahead and just get that set up real quick. So then we can keep that um, ready to go. So we need a couple things. We need a network card. So we're going to need that. We're going to need the network receiver itself, which is going to require a netherite ingot, which we can do. So let's request all of that stuff. And the network transmitter is going to require all of that stuff. And while we're at it, and while we're out here, Let's just go ahead and get a wireless transmitter with range upgrades. Upgrades. Let's get four. Let's expand our wireless out here. Why not? It's not that big a deal. Network receiver, check. Network transmitter. Network card. Well, it's working on stuff. The problem is, is I'm requesting all this stuff as I go and I'm using the stuff that I need for it. And to be honest, we're probably gonna use these often enough that it would be a smart idea to um, teach the system how to make this. Yeah, look, I used all my quartz iron. Wireless transmitter, and then just the range upgrades. Ugh, I need more quartz enriched iron. What is it? It's uh, not right click, uh, shift click. No, well, that works. Can I get a stack of that? I can. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what we need to do is put the network transmitter somewhere. So it's just gonna go, um, so I wanna bury it. I'm gonna have to run cables. So we need the receiver here and then the network card. Is that correct? Yes, linked. And we're gonna go back home. We're gonna pop down into our back door basement area. Where did I put that other wireless transmitter? Our first one here. I'm gonna run it here now. 
Okay, so then we're gonna set our receiver. We're gonna start setting them up here with our network card and bam, 45 blocks. So now we have access to our refined storage system outside and it's faster for me to just do that. Keep in mind, this does cost RF. It is not free. And the more blocks that it has to travel, the more RF it's gonna use. But now this is set up and this is linked. So if we put our wireless transmitter here, it should boop, light up. And I realized I did not put that in the ground very well. Now did I? I should have buried it down one more. That's okay. I can put the wireless transmitter on this side, put in our range upgrades. And now we have even more range. Now we're gonna need an interface. And we can set the interface up right here. And then we're gonna need some cables. I think I have in my backpack. Yeah, a grand total of two. Uh, cable, grand total of five, but that should be enough just to get hooked up to this guy. So we need to Bam, 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 and bam. Interface should be online now. And then we are gonna have, mm, I realize that the interface needs moved. Okay, that's okay. Because we need to be able to access these chests. Because we're, so we're gonna use these chests as buffers, so I'm gonna keep them here. So we will put this here and the interface can go here. Logistical transporter, you can come here and you are going to extract from this chest at all times. So whatever goes in here gets extracted out, bam. And then you also need some upgrades. We're going to take our oak saplings, dark oak saplings, ooh I do like dark oak. Dark oak would be a mess though, because it's gonna grow in the four by four kind of thing. Uh, so let's say, uh, how much do you have in you? You have none in you right now, do you? Any more oak saplings, to be honest. What we need to have happen is the oak saplings, <laughs> we get a stack of them so that I can tell this thing to keep them. What if I do that? How many did that give us? 29. Well, it's a start. Uh, and you're always going to have, let's say, 29 on hand. So if I put this in there, bam, it's going to put the 29 here. And then we can have it extract out of there. Not color. Not color. There we go. And it'll automatically move them in there, put them in there. Next time this guy loops around, he'll grab them. And that is an automated system we just need a couple upgrades at refined upgrade we're gonna want some stack upgrades or a stack upgrade and three speed upgrades there's the stack upgrade and our three speed upgrades bam Check it out. So it's very similar to our setup here where we have this all going into an ender chest, but it goes into an interface now. And this will always keep the saplings on hand. So the saplings are gonna come here, they're gonna dump into the system, and then they're gonna move out. What we should look into doing is upgrading these, at least these two pipes to the ultimate version so that they can pull out faster. Because my concern here is that it's going to Yeah, I don't have these on AutoCraft yet, do I? Oh, I guess I didn't. I thought I taught the system how to make these. Oh, I thought I had to make the reinforced alloys, not the circuits. Anyway, uh, upgrade these to ultimate. That way it can instantly pull out of this chest because my concern is that it's going to try and pull out the saplings, dump it into the system. They're not going to get put back in fast enough by the time it gets to this, and it's going to cause a little bit of a cycle of where it misses, at least until this thing, this drawer back stuffs, and then those back stuff, and then this back stuffs, and then, yeah. But 
Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you liked what you watched, uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out. I know I sound like a broken record, but it, it does. It really does help out. I know you hear it all the time from other YouTubers and everything, and I apologize that I have to do it too. But it's just it's the way of the game, you know? But I do appreciate it. Really, I do. Uh, I try and comment back, and, you know, every everybody who comments, I try and respond. Uh, if you give me some tips and tricks and stuff, I'll share in the video with everybody else and all that stuff so please 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 subscribe please i don't want to beg please anyway uh have a good one thanks for stopping by thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one